We begin with the story that you'll only see on 12 News. Tonight, two Valley parents say that their son's school didn't do enough to protect their 10 year old when he was attacked by another student and then ended up in the hospital. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Jonathan McCall and tonight for Mark. Team 12's Chase Go Lightly live tonight at the Legacy Traditional School in Levine and Chase. Those parents say they're pretty upset with how the school handled the punishment for that other student. Jonathan Caribe, both parents tell me their son has attended the school here for the past two years, but now following this attack, they say they'll be moving him to a different school. He's fun. He loves to play. This is fifth grader Ruben Almanza II. Hours before his parents say their 10 year old was attacked at school. I felt something was wrong when he was covering his eye and he had tears in his eyes. When his dad picked him up at Legacy Traditional School Levine, this is what he saw. His son with a swollen black eye and a cut. It was a scary feeling. His mom, Marissa Vasquez, rushing Ruben to the hospital. We needed to hurry up and go to the ER because of the severity of his eye. Both say it happened right before the end of the school day when one of Ruben's classmates, who they claim has bullied their son in the past, picked up a plastic cubby bin and hit Ruben in the face with it. He was on the floor holding his eye, crying in his classroom. What made them class. even more upset was the response from staff, saying the teacher gave Ruben an ice pack and then sent him out the door because school had ended by this point. Nobody assessed his eye. Nobody sent him to the nurse. Then when they spoke with the principal about the incident. We were told that severe, severe consequences would be put in place. The child was suspended, according to Vasquez. She was thinking that would be the last time Ruben and the student would be in the same classroom together, given the history of bullying. But just a few days later. He let us know the kid was back in class after only a three day suspension. The school sent us a statement saying they investigated the altercation and immediately administered appropriate consequences. But Ruben's parents don't see it that way. I mean, I'm not saying throw the book at him, but I would think a little bit more than three days. This child used a physical object and cut our child's eye open. That's not a three day suspension. Now they say Ruben doesn't feel safe in his own classroom. This school needs to take full accountability for neglecting my son in the time of need. Now Vasquez told me she's starting that transfer process for Ruben. Now she also said that they are considering possible litigation in this matter. We're live in Levine, Chase Golightly, 12 News. All right, Chase, thank you for that.